Hey guys, I just got home. I took my kids to school and I uh, went by bike. And on the way back, it started to rain. So my hair is all wet and my makeup was all over my face. I fixed it a little bit and I'm just going to film this intro anyway. In today's video, there will be loads of folding and also birthday preparations for my son's fifth birthday. I'm going to make him a pirate ship pinata. And I'm also going to bake a cake. So you will see all of that in this video. I'm going to start with the kitchen. It's not so bad, but not great either. And I probably keep repeating myself. Starting with a clean kitchen is just the best start of the day. I have a list here of things to do. I need to clean the tiles above the countertops and also the cabinet doors. And uh, I don't know if I can unload the dishwasher. I think it still needs to be switched on. So, so I will start here and I will take you along. I'm always really happy to have a morning to myself. I have that twice a week. So here's the before. Like I said, it's not too bad, but it needs a little bit of work. And I'm using both my film lights today because it is a very gloomy day. So hopefully the lighting of the video will be uh, good this way. I really want to thank you for providing me some feedback on my videos. I asked you about it. And some comments were really helpful. Like one of you was telling me that the voiceover wasn't as loud as the music in the videos. And you had to turn up and down the volume when watching the video. So in this video I try to balance it out. The volume of the voiceover and the music. I hope it's better. But if the music is still too loud, please let me know. And something else I wanted to ask you for a long time is do you have any ideas for my kitchen? I love my kitchen, but it's very it has a very clean look, very white. And I feel like it needs a little bit more fun. So if you have any decoration ideas for me here, I would really love to know. I feel a little out of breath from all the cleaning and very warm. <laughs> but I cleaned the table and this side of the kitchen. And I will continue now with the dishwasher. I'm also going to put my cleaning rack in the dishwasher. This is the dirty one from yesterday. I used it to clean on top of those cabinets. It was very dusty and greasy there. Here's the clean one which is going on the counter now. And I'm going to attach uh, this one to my wash plates. And I will show you in a minute how to do that. I am really happy with my wash plates and the cleaning racks that came with it. They are microfiber and usually I'm not a big fan of microfiber, I prefer cotton, but in this case I genuinely like them. They can absorb a lot of water and they are great for cleaning the kitchen fronts. They're always covered in fingerprints and usually I use a cotton rack and the glass cleaner, this product, to remove them. That goes very well, but with this cloth you hardly need any products. It takes the fingerprints right off, so I'm just enjoying these cloths so much. So a big thank you to Washplay for collaborating with me and for sponsoring today's video. So here I'll show you how to attach the cloth to the washplate. It makes it incredibly easy to keep your cleaning cloths clean and free of bacteria. Now a surprising fact, the dishwasher tablets are more powerful than the washer when it comes to removing bacteria. And on top of that, you don't have to mix the disgusting kitchen bacteria from the cloth with your laundry in the washer. If you want to know more about the wash plate or the cleaning racks or order them with 10% off, you can find the link with a code in the description box.
I'm all done now here. It's nice, clean, tidy. And I took out another clean wash plate cloth because the clean pink one that was for today I used already for so much cleaning. I'm not going to continue to use it without um, putting it in the dishwasher first. So I needed a clean one. I have it over there, the blue one. And I'm going to edit for a bit and then tonight I will continue with laundry. Oh, it's much later in the day now and the laundry is waiting to be folded. It's a lot really because I've been focused on creating content and that sometimes interferes with my normal routines. So the laundry has piled up but that makes for more interesting videos, right? So I'm going to get started and try to fold everything in one sitting. Here's my folded laundry and while I'm seeing this I realize I forgot the socks, they are in that basket. I will do that later. That basket is for ironing, clothes and pillowcases and so on. Now onto the birthday preparations. I'm going to make a delicious chestnut pie. I've tried different things with this recipe, like omitting the normal flour. Today I will add normal flour because that's what the recipe calls for and see how it turns out. It was very delicious without flour, but it was really flat and a little bit too moist. Sorry, I know a lot of you hate that word, but <laughs> that's what it was. I only have dark chocolate today to put on top, but I would really like to try it with milk chocolate sometime since I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolates so I'm not sure which variations I will like the most but I will put a link to the original recipe in the description box so you can look it up for yourself I already made brownies and they are ready as you can see they turned out quite delicious and now back to the chestnut pie
I put the cream and chocolate mixture in the fridge a little bit too long but when the pie came out of the oven it was obviously very hot and that melted the chocolate a little bit so I was able to spread the chocolate onto the cake. Like I said, I'm going to make a pirate ship pinata. My son asked for a pirate pinata, so I thought I could make a treasure chest or a ship. To me, the idea of a ship was more fun to make, so I looked online on how a ship could look like. And after seeing a lot of ideas, I took a big box and I just got to work. I tried with scissors first, but it turned out that a sharp knife was way more convenient for cardboard. So that's what I used, and apart from that, a lot of tape. It took me about three or four hours, and I had the best time. I really love arts and crafts things so i thoroughly enjoyed myself and my son was very happy with his pinata at the end of the video i will insert some birthday footage so you'll see a little impression on how everything turned out and how it was
I'm so happy you watched the video all the way to the end. Thank you so much. I want to remind you of the discount code that is now available for the wash blade. So if you would like to try the wash blade, now would be a great time. Link and discount code in the description box. And until next time, take good care and have a great week. Bye!